Hey cuties! Summer's coming in hot with this refreshing reprint. But how far have these transients gone downstream since their release? Lightning round! Can you believe half the banner has already been covered through pickups and limited selectors? How well equipped are you for these rapids? Three, two, one, start! The art is looking mighty fresh this much. Let's see what else there is real in. After training to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympic rowing team, Arachne has developed some surprising technique optimizations. In her usual form, she paddles forward aggressively at starboard, pulling the competition in closer while boosting her team's damage. With the momentum from the same stroke, she paddles backwards defensively at port, pushing competitors away while boosting team defense. In her river, any challengers caught indulging in form over function will gradually flounder behind, as her own team remains focused on the goal. A staple for farming and now bearing the flag for challenge exploitation, Arachne is a sure bet for first place. His training as a sacrifice has taught Jugo to face adversity head on rather than to shrug it off, which he exemplifies by inviting misfortune over time and making them his strength. His damage, defense, and consistency shine against those misfortunes, bringing out his native power to survive and overcome incoming threats. In a pinch, he can even expel all his afflictions toward his opponent, at the cost of his personal advantage state. Despite all this training, Jugo struggles to pin down a use outside of basic column clear farming due to his debuff reversals, limited native duration, and unambitious strength. He'll just have to settle with pinning you down instead. One of the rare few front row players in game, this cop had a little competition in his first release with massive triple amp paired with buff purging. With this combination, Tajikara opened the way for farming while dealing with one-shot resisting mechanics such as death resistance and wide maps. Often, closing off battles was his quick build of board wipe charge. Dutiful as he is, he's eager to strip off his clothes and show off his impenetrable build if any ruffian returns fire. From his recent remedial training for his indecency, Tajikaro now equips more defensive plating for his team and applies better first aid. No, this has introduced his need to strip in the least. My opinion, the faster he strips, the better. Oh, After having his guts thoroughly mixed and bruised by his entire squadron for the past few years, this cadet now stands and kneels, proud as his department's sturdiest service stooge. Oguchi Makami prepares himself for incoming damage with death and damage resistance, and Titans has got further after being hit or debuffed. For each thrust he takes, he gleefully milks out his aggressors of their gifts while locking their skills. Being clapped senseless is the only thing that fills Oguchi with energy. Far he'll thereafter return the service with increased damage and charge attack range. Civil only for some challenges where he can take an enemy's packing weight over a long time. Oguchi Magami is a specialist to remember when you need a bone buried. Remember that Moguchi Magami is available in the event item exchange and as a drop reward, and not actually available in the banner. Between the remaining units, all have strong farming utility, and at most offer exceptional strength. I stress here that strength in farming is far more handy to have than strength in challenges. Because of this, this banner remains, after all this time, a near must pull. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!